Between 1989 and 2012, First Nations children spent 66 million sleeps away from their family. When I think about that, I think about children in my own life going to bed. They might have their favorite blanket or their teddy bear. And they're asking you the stories of what was it like when you were little? I want children to grow up with their families and not grow up to go away to grow up. I want children to be able to hear those stories from their parents who also grew up at home. And I want every child to feel as sacred as people say they are, not just by hearing the words, I love you, and I'll be there for you, and I'll put you first, but by seeing people and their own government actually do it. Because right now, the government is saying, we care about you, and in their actions, they're putting the kids second. And that's got to stop. You know, I'm a Harry Potter fan. And one of my favorite characters is Luna Lovegood. And there's a scene where Harry's feeling very much alone. And he's out there with Luna, and he says, you know, I feel so alone in this battle. And Luna says, I don't think that's true. I think that's the way that they want you to feel, but I don't think that's true. And you need to believe it too, because if it was just you alone, they would have taken you out. But it's because of all the people who truly believe in you, who believe not just in you, but more importantly in what you're standing for, for the children all over this country, then they can do nothing to you. And that's been my experience. This is not about me. It's about something far more important. It's about the lives of children. First Nations children who want to grow up to be proud of who they are with their families and communities and have a good education and speak their languages and practice their cultures. And the non-Aboriginal kids who want to do the same thing and think that First Nations cultures are pretty cool and it's time for justice and equity. You need to speak out about discrimination. What the kids have told me who have stand with us is caring is not enough. Knowing is not enough. If you want racial discrimination to ha stop happening in your own country, you got to stand up and be counted. Speak up. Do it in peaceful and respectful ways, but don't stop talking.